All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is BMP here. Welcome back at long last to a new playthrough of Mountain Blade Bannerlord. It has been damn near two years since the last time I uploaded a series. Too long, way too long. And uh, I'll be honest, I miss this. I miss playing this game. I miss talking with you guys. I miss it all. And in my absence, I've been keeping tabs. Checking up on the subreddit, other other YouTube videos. Bannerlord looks good. It, the updates that have come out in the past two years, they've actually fleshed this game out. I am so excited to hop back into it. So let's just go ahead and do that right now. For oh, years, they've got the a cinematic now, huh? Okay. Alright, this is kind of nice. Its army scattered foes before them. The strongholds of proud that tribes looks, crumble that looks beneath so cool. its engines of war. From the forests of the north to the wastes of the south. All was brought beneath the standard of their legions. Brutal as the conquest was, the wise agreed that it brought peace. The Pax Romana, yep. The land, now untroubled by armies, grew rich. But empires, like men, grow old. Leaders lose a common cause. Corruption spreads. Old enemies learn the Empire's tricks. <laughs> That's gonna be us this series. And devise new ones of their own. Until one day, the bonds holding the Empire snap. Then comes the Civil War, pitting all against all. A time of hatred. A time of suffering. But also, even in the worst hours, a time of courage and defiance. Why does this guy kind of look like Luke Skywalker in the most recent trilogy? Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. As new leaders arise, from new places and new peoples, to turn back the tides of destruction and bring forth a new world from the ashes of the old. Oh my god. That's a proper fucking cinematic opening for like a triple A game. That's cool. That's nice. All right, so before we get started here, uh, my goal is to have a couple episodes pre-recorded, ready to go to, and release this weekend, um, including two for the day this comes out, planning on this being a Friday. So as soon as this video hits, I don't want it to be too much, let's say 150 likes, I will go ahead and release the second episode. That way you guys, you guys have a little something to binge on the first day. Um, so yeah, I, I think I think you guys can do that. It's been a while. It's been two years since I've uploaded, so I, I understand if that's a bit much. Anyways, for this series, here's what I'm thinking. So we in the past, we played as Batanians, as Ron Baringsworth, as the Vlandians, as Baron Rolf of House Rolf. Uh, this time, we're going to be going to the north. The Sturgians. Sturgians? Sturgians? Gif? Jif? No one knows. Um... <laughs> So, uh, most of you that are Mountain Blade fans know that uh, Bannerlord, even though it is a uh, the second game, it's actually a prequel for Warband. And in Warband, the people who own and control the North are the Kingdom of the Nords. So, this is set a couple hundred years before Warband. At some point, the Nords must take over. And my goal for this series is this is going to explain how. So, with that being said, actually, what are the bonuses here for uh, for them? Recruiting and upgrading infantry troops, 25% cheaper. Okay, good. That's going to be our primary force. 
Uh, armies lose 20% less daily cohesion. Actually, that, that's pretty nice. 20% um, more relationship penalty from kingdom decisions. Okay, that... I'll be honest, that doesn't seem like that bad of a drawback. I mean, how often are you going to be voting on laws, really? I mean, you only have to do it, like, once, right? Oh, that actually, that's probably also for, like, handing out fiefs. Okay, that could get a little annoying. I could see that. All right, let's head on in. <laughs> okay, all right, give me one second. Let me, let me build the character that I have envisioned in my head. Okay, here we go. So, let me introduce you all to Svenolf the Mountain. So, <laughs> I don't know how many of you guys are going to remember this. My first time ever playing Bannerlord, when I was like live streaming my uh, first run through of it, when it, the day of release, the character I created was Svenolf. And, uh... I've had some comments over the years of people saying like, Oh, bring back Svenoff. We want to see more of him. Well, here you go. He's been repurposed a little bit. He looks a little different. Uh, and that's because my idea for this series is Svenoff is going to be a Nord. Now, a Nord is essentially the Calradian equivalent of a caveman. Of a Neanderthal. So, this... <laughs> Don't judge too hard. This was my best att I only had Google Images to go off of, okay? This was my best attempt at creating a caveman. Um, is Google Images and the Geico commercials. That's about it. So, uh, I'll explain a little bit more of his backstory in a second. And how it is that, uh, uh, you know, a Neolithic caveman is in modern-day Calradia. Um, but let's, uh, I'll tell you what. I did not find a good voice for him. Let's go ahead... Raise the ladders! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Form a shield! Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, never mind. I thought that... Oh, I guess... For some reason, I thought if I put the slider all the way to the right, that it'd be a really deep voice, but I guess that just means a high pitch. We want a low pitch. Form a line! That's a, that, that fits a little bit more the, uh, the mountain body of him. Uh... Max out height, max out build. Jesus. Actually a decent amount of weight on him. I mean, he kind of looks like, uh, like Thor Bjornsson, the actual mountain. Um. Attack! I'd like a little bit of a, a little bit more guttural voice. Give way! Okay. Close with them! Oh, that's, that's more like it. Look at them run! <laughs> Alright, I'm liking that one. Stand fast! Okay, this is decent. Move forth. Okay. Is up. Oh. Stand fast. Oh, this is a tight competition between voice two and three. Give them hell. What about? Hold your position. Line up, footmen. No, 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 no. That's way too coherent. See, here's the thing. If he's a Nord, um, he won't uh, he won't be really be speaking the modern dialect, or at least not with the same accent. It'd be like. Uh, you know, us English speakers, if you teleported us back like a thousand years, we would barely be able to understand anything those people were saying. Shoot, you take us just back to the times of like Shakespeare and we're kind of like, thy what? Excuse me? <laughs> what, is, what are they saying? Yeah! Alright, that's the one for me. Boom. Okay, backstory. So, he grew up in like a tribal setting. So, I'm going to say he was born into a family... Of hunters makes the most sense. Child, he was noted for obviously his brawn, right? Yeah. Uh, like all the village children, he helped out in the fields, so probably hunted small game or gathered herbs in the wild. I mean, look, they're on the uh, the the paleo the paleo diet. Is that what it's called? I think it's called the paleo diet. <laughs> it was just just what you could uh, what you could hunt, what you could forage. I'm gonna say. Is that scouting? He actually probably should have good scouting. What about this one? What does that give us? Tactics. Interesting. And more control. I don't know if I want points in control because we're not going to be using crossbows at all. Um, the plan for this one is, at least for the first couple episodes, we're going to be sticking with the weapons that he would have had access to back in his time. So, like, a spear, a simple bow... 
uh, some, you know, some javelins, like spears you can throw, a club, you know, no, no forged metal, like, and as a matter of fact, no armor either, because they didn't have access to forged metal back then, so, yeah, these clothes are not long for this world, I'll just say that, um, let's tell you what, let's go ahead and, uh, let's actually do herbs in the wild, endurance is good, because I want to spec into athletics hard, Eventually, I want to learn how to smith. See, once we learn how to smith, then he can start using armor and, like, more modern weapons. But for the first little bit of this series, I don't want any of that. I'm okay with him learning how to, learning a little bit of medicine. I feel like they would have had to know at least something about that, what herbs to use. Uh, okay, youngster growing up in Calradia. War was never too far away, blah, blah, blah. Let's say, uh, probably trained with the infantry, right? That's the other thing is, they probably didn't really have domesticated horses back in his day, so he's going to be uncomfortable on horseback for at least the first while. Um, skirmishers. No, because once again, that gives us, uh, control. We don't want control. Yeah, let's just do infantry. And then young adulthood, your biggest achievement, uh, probably defeating an enemy in battle wouldn't be bad. Ooh, hunted a dangerous animal. That seems plausible. Oh, God, no, no. Good God, no. Not not crossbows. Uh, yep. Yeah. Alright, boom. Unless, what's this? Nah, not that. Yep, defeated an enemy in battle. What does this mean? Oh, we're daring. Damn right he is. Damn right he is. Uh, okay. Uh, you and your brother survived because we, I, or because I subdued a raider, probably. Best one. Yes, that gives us athletics. We're doing that. Enter your name, of course. His name is Spenoff. Boom. Alright. So, let's see. Game difficulty. Uh, okay, no way in hell am I going to be playing on Freebooter. That's just, that name is an insult. Uh, what are the options? Warrior? Okay. Seems decent. Or Bannerlord. Are there only the three? Looks like there's only the three. Um, okay, so it has been it has been two years since I've played. So I don't know if I'm ready to go full blown banner lord quite yet. Let's do warrior. Let's start the series out on warrior, especially because I'm gonna be playing with some restrictions. And then as the series progresses, I shake some rust off. Maybe we up into banner lord, but for right now we'll keep it on the mid midpoint. Is that everything? Are we are we good to go? I think we might be. Okay, so I skipped the tutorial. We are in... What is this? Tells you traveling doctor. Oh my god, the storyline. Did they actually ever finish the storyline? The, the fucking... Hey, go talk to a hundred different nobles and have them tell you about this Naretz's folly. I'll be honest, the, the intro cinematic was a way better... Like, description of the state of affairs here than, like, this half ass storyline. I don't know, maybe they fixed it. What is this? What is happening? On the first day of summer, 1084, you have found the artifact which Tactios mentioned. Turn back around. Come on. Oh, well, rip. All right. Okay, maybe they maybe they did do something with this story. Okay. I will reserve judgment for the time being. Withhold it. Uh, our family name, Svenolf Denord. Boom. Okay, banner. Um... Let's go. Okay, so he's a caveman. He did a lot of hunting. I think we're gonna rock with... I want blue. White on blue. Something like... Uh, the stag? Or this one? Kind of more in action. I think I might like this one. Is that a baby on its head? What's happening? I don't know, but I like it. Okay, boom. I think that works. Awesome. All right. So, give me one second. I am going to go into the nearest town, get us uh, a real loadout for this series, and then because somehow Bannerlord has still not, <laughs> still not allowed us to choose our starting location, I will try to run up here to the north, and we will, uh, <laughs> we will actually get the the campaign started. Okay, here we are. I walked my way all the way up to the frigid north. 
And let me tell you, that's quite a journey. And uh, we found ourselves... With... Excuse me. Are his eyes red? Is he, is, <laughs> he looks like one of those memes where, like, like uh, someone says something super based and, like, their eyes turn red. They shoot lasers out. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you Sven Alp's backstory. So, like I said, Sven Alp is a Nord who used to live in these areas thousands of years ago. And uh, Sven Alp was the leader of his little tribe. Um, he was known for going out on big old hunts by himself, single-handedly felling massive beasts and bringing back meat for everybody. And on one of these trips, after he had hunted down a mastodon and was single-handedly dragging it back to camp, the ice shelf that he was on cracked, crumbled, and him and the mastodon plunged into the icy waters below, where he was frozen in place for thousands of years, until eventually, by chance... Calradia warmed up just enough that his glacier broke free, floated down here, deposited him on the shores of northern Sturgia, and eventually enough melted that Svenolf was set free. So here he is in all of his almost naked glory, uh, j pretty much just with his loincloth and his weapons that he hunted with. That's about it. Um, so we have... A giant, probably angry, and definitely confused Neanderthal, caveman on our hands, who doesn't know where the hell he is or what's going on. That is the premise for this series. That's how we're going to get started. So, my guess would be he's going to start by kind of wandering around trying to figure out, like, where's my family? Where the hell am I? And, uh... I wouldn't be surprised if he ran into some looters to uh, to start this off. Actually, before we do that, let me see. So I did throw a point into riding just because on the ride up here, I wanted to start accruing some points. Uh, Skill-wise or perk-wise, we can pick one for one-handed already. So option is basher. Shield bashes do more damage, stun for longer. And infantry take 4% less melee damage while in shield wall. That seems pretty good. Especially late game. Um, not the shield bashing perk, but uh, the 4% less damage to our troops, who our infantry are probably going to be in shield wall. Um, other one, deflect. One-handed weapons you wield have their handling increased by 20%. Hmm. That seems very good, especially early game. Because uh, if I'm remembering correctly, Bannerlord is not like Warband, where if you have a low weapon skill, you just... Do less damage and your swings are a little slower. No, Warband or uh, Bandlord will 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 hoe you. They give you gumpy ass animations on your swings. Like you just look like a scrub until you get our, your skills up. Um, troops you're leading have one-handed combat effectiveness one tier higher. We're gonna do that for right now. I want to say I saw in the updates there is a way to reset and repick your perks. So I think that's a thing. I, I'm not for sure. Also, what I love is that they changed the way you level up in this. Now it's just based essentially on XP. Instead of before, it was based on how many of these points you can get in a specific skill. So you're kind of level capped after a while. Now, it's just based on gaining XP in any perk. Or in any skill. And that goes towards your overall level. I love that change. That is so much better. Alright. Let's see. So yeah. I think Svenolf would approach these guys. Just trying to say like, hey. Where the hell am I? What's going on? What is... This guy looks so fucking derpy. <laughs> uh, Alright, hello traveler. Hope you brought your purse. <laughs> We're brigands, okay. So, once again, Svenolf is from a couple thousand years ago. Even if he was speaking the same language, which, for the sake of convenience, we'll say that he is, he's probably still having a hard time understanding them and talking himself. Uh, so, I wouldn't be surprised if a fight bro broke out here. Alright, seven looters. Let's see what we can do. Let's see how rusty I am. I've got my idea for how I want uh, Svenoff's combat style to go. I want him to be, think like, like, Predator. Like, he's gonna be... I'll tell you what, first of all, I'd like to get... I mean, I want, I'd like to find some cover first. Holy shit, this horse is so slow. Also... <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Fighting shirtless is, uh, I'm loving this decision already. Okay. I want to get somewhere. Yeah, let's get over to this thick pocket of trees where we can kind of use cover to our advantage. But I, I want him to be like a, like the predator where he's on foot. He's just kind of stealthily walking around, murking guys. They don't even see him half the time. Hail Mary? No, way too far. Oh, that was so close to a headshot. Okay, good. We want to soften these guys up before they get to us. Okay, they're going to throw some rocks. That's fine. Headshot. Shit. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, these javelins do work. Yes, sir. Okay. How fast are you? Are they faster than me? No, 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 no. We got... Look how big we are. Look at those. Look at those long str... Oh, my God. His... <laughs> Look at those cheeks moving. And those tidy, not-so-whities. Oh my god, we're way faster than them already. I was worried I was going to have to invest a lot into athletics before I was able to outrun guys, but... Ah! Okay, move, move, move. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Look, oh shit, no. I don't want to, I don't want to give up on the battle yet. One by one. I want to, I should get more spears. Those, those javelins were pretty good. <laughs> Look at these, these fools just lobbing rocks at us. Alright, we got, we got some distance on him now. Oh, what? I even tried to dodge that. But they predicted the way I was dodging. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, I thought you died! I definitely thought I killed him with that shot. <laughs> and then he smacked us real good. Alright, there we go. Good stuff, good stuff. A little easy dub there. Oh my goodness, we just got 15 athletic skills. In that one battle. Oh my god. I, I knew that they changed the, the leveling process. They clearly made it a lot easier. 15 athletic skill in one battle. That is beautiful. Uh, we have a prisoner. Alright, we're going to drag this poor man into town with us. Uh, what do you got here? A bunch of trash, it looks like. Eh, can always sell it. Boom. All right, all right. A good first battle. Took a little more damage than I would have liked. And what is happening here? Hello? Okay, that was a, was a weird black screen. That's not a good sign. Okay. So, after his new, uh... <laughs> his new kills, he's like, all right, let's, let's, let's get into town and figure out what the hell is going on. Um, okay, athletics. So, we get to choose here between being well-built... Having five extra maximum hit points, or being 3% faster. I think I'm going to choose this one. I think I'm going to choose the 3% faster. Late game, probably will change it to this. Because 5 HP for all of the troops in your party would be big. But for right now, let's go morning exercises. This man, look at, look at those quads. He does not skip leg day. Uh, as for this perk, or our skill point, what do we put this into? I think another into athletics, to be honest. That or bow. We'll go athletics for this one. I really want to get his speed up. If we're going to be naked and have no armor, we need to be fast and mobile. Um, we'll probably do bow for the next one. Cool. Alright, into town. I think the first thing that Svenolf really needs is he needs a fucking guide. <laughs> he needs someone uh, that can show him around this new world. Because as of right now, this is confusing as shit to him. Uh, and the best place for that... I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and sell all this new stuff. Hundred thirty-two, so we got six seventy-five. That might be enough. We'll say he works his way to the tavern, sells off the looter. Are there any heroes here? In fact, oh shit, I think there wasn't because they didn't show any characters in the uh, the top right. 
<laughs> if a man walks in like this, you think, uh, what are the chances he's getting some ladies? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Alright, no, there's no heroes in here. Mm, okay. Well, let's check out, uh, check out the arena. If there's a tournament, we'll try our best. I don't know if I like our odds at sitting at just 40% HP, but you can always try. Plus, I'm pretty sure they changed it so that you actually get experience points during tournaments now. Um, so even if we lose, it won't be a waste. We'll be training ourselves up in the process. But, nevertheless, there is no tournament going on here. But we will be able to figure out where there is one. Okay. We could do a practice fight, but I don't think you get experience in the practice fights, to be honest. Um, tournaments, no more questions. Anything nearby? Varchag and Siniopa. Siniopa? Sin I have no idea. Okay. We'll see where those are at. I'm, I'm tempted, as always, on the first tournament to just go, you know... Balls to the wall, bet max on every round, but we literally only have enough money to do that once, and if we lose, we would be absolutely broke. So, that could be a problem. By the way, once again, this, I am <laughs> I am new to Bannerlord, essentially, uh, because it's been so long and so much has changed. Tell me in the comments if you know of, like, new interesting changes, because otherwise, I might not see stuff. Like... Has stuff changed with owning businesses or with the with gangs and stuff? Like, what are some cool new features that they've added, or or what have they fully fleshed out that I should definitely check out? Ooh, I want to fight that group, but I we need to preserve our HP for the tournament. Next time, I'm coming back for you. I'm coming back. Oh my god, there's only two of them. Oh my god, these tiny groups. We could smash them. Oh. Yeah, nope, not today, not today. After the tournament, after the tournament, I'll be back, I promise. Okay, did we make it in time? We did! Aha, okay, we'll do that in a sec. Aha, yes, this is what, okay. Wait, we can't hire this guy until after, I think. Is he good? Isn't there... Yes, let's look him up. Let's see if this guy's any good. We need a guide. Is this our guide? Ooh. Okay. 160 one-handed, 170 polearm. He's a little shifty looking. He's cool, but daring and honest. Interesting. Okay, this could be our guide. I assume we can't afford him right now. Or and even if we could, we wouldn't be able to bet on this tournament. You already know I'm trying to bet on this tournament. We'll see. It, it depends what the uh, what the lineup is looking like. Okay, there are seven lords present in the city who plan to enter the tournament. That's fuck. That wait. There's only sixteen people in the tournament. That's a, half the fucking tournament are lords, and we're gonna be naked. The organizers are offering a destrier for the victor. Okay, so a nice horse. All right. I mean, look, we'll try. Okay, we'll try. Can't, can't promise anything more or less than that. We'll look at the the structure of the tournament. Okay. Okay. So, we should be a lock to get through the first round here. We've got two lords against their one. Another one or two lords are going to be knocked out on this side as well. Two v two, and then a one v one. All right, we'll bet at least the first round or two, because that's where you get the best return on your money. All right, GLS, GLS. Okay, we start with a bow. Headshot only did twenty two damage. Is this a joke? Oh come on! I rushed that shot. Good. Alright, he's down. Ah! Come on! Shit. 
Come on. Come on. Bro, why do you take so long to swing? This is veteran difficulty? Boom. Alright. We're good. Sorry, let me pick up a shield. I think... I don't see why uh, Svenoff wouldn't be able to use a shield. Like, as long as it's wooden and not a metal shield. Alright, we're on to the next round. Cool. And who wins this one? The two lords. Okay, kind of expected. Alright, so this one's good. This is uh, four teams of two. So, we don't have to win. We just have to survive to the top two teams. Let's bet again. We're almost getting the same odds. That's beautiful. So if we win, we get almost 1,200. Not bad. Alright. Okay. What are you doing, bro? Take out a fucking weapon. Are you throwing? Ooh, fuck. Okay, this guy just has a shield. He's fucked. Okay, no, 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 don't... Well, I guess it doesn't matter if you go over there or not. Uh, well, okay. We're, we're into the next round regardless, so it doesn't really matter. Shit. Okay. That was sloppy, but it didn't really matter. We were already into the next round. Okay. Okay. This is going to be a tough one. What is the odds on this? What are they giving us? Two to one? Two and a half to one? Uh, hmm. Actually, it's not even that good. No, it's not two and a half to one. They're giving us, like, plus 150 odds. I think we pass. I don't think we bet on this, on these last two rounds. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that confident. I got painfully reminded that, uh, come on, bro. I need you here. Oh! Bro, help me out. Good. Chamber block? Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Hello, motherfucker. Yeah! Yes, sir! Okay. Alright, it's me versus this midget in the finals. And they're barely giving us anything there. Look, because you actually don't get your $100 bet back. It's just, you get 40 Oh, um, yeah, th these are terrible fucking odds. I'm not betting that. All right, come on. Where's he at? Damn, I was hoping we'd get some throwing axes or, or something. Good shot. Oh, be careful, be careful. One, one shot from him almost guaranteed will kill us. Okay, one more shot on him and he should be done. Oh. Woo! Let's go, baby! Oh, naked with only like, what, about half HP? Getting the job done? Oh, baby, three renown, a destrier, some bet earnings. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright. So with this money... Alright, let's, let's go see what this is all worth. Oh, 1300? 1300? Okay. Yeah, that's, uh... That's not too shabby, huh? Okay, okay. Um... Do I keep this? I think we have to sell it, right? Is there any point in keeping this? I mean, for 1300 I, I think I'd rather sell it, and we'll get some... We'll get some cheaper horses. No, I do not want eight of them. I just want one. <laughs> just give me give me one horse. I just want one. All right, there we go. Um, we'll get two. We'll get two. Th that should give us a ton of speed and a bunch of capacity. Because 
We're going to be getting a lot of kills here. Hopefully. That's the plan. Nordic short bow. Ooh. I like that. That's pretty much better across the board. All we need is 30 bow in order to use that? Yeah, look at that. Two more speed, seven more pierce damage, ten more accuracy, and seven more missile speed. Fucking sign me up. Hell yeah. All right, we're getting that. And we still got 1,300 left over. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Let's go to the tavern district now. Let's uh, let's talk to this Athanus the Boar. All right. So who might you be then, eh? Uh. <laughs> Is... Once again, Svenolf doesn't have a good grasp on the modern Calradic language. Is he just kind of ooga booga, you know? Is, is that what he's doing? Refill my glass and I'll tell you. I'm a soldier by trade. Okay, served the Empire's legions for 20 years. Alright. <laughs> he was ambushed in the Batanian woods. Oh, no, no, no. He was sick, so he didn't get ambushed, but his, all of his buddies did. All right, after Arinikos' so-called reforms, they tried to maintain an army on the cheap, letting the rich run the sun out of their own pocket. Mm, that sounds familiar to modern-day U.S. Um, okay. What do you do? Well, I can't just sit around and drink myself to death, so I sell my sword to anyone worth following. He's a good trainer. Okay. I don't bother with horses or, or archers, but if you've got good steady footmen, I can do a lot with them. I know a bit about siege machinery too. I like this guy. I could use you. 544? There you go. Welcome to the party, son. Nice. This guy seems like a good pickup. I'm liking him already. Uh, let's go ahead and find out where the next tournament is. We'll head over there. Possibly get some kills along the way. If we can. And then we also need to check out this guy's inventory and see what he's bringing to the table. Alright, where am I headed? Good lad. What is... What are these options? I'm not happy with the habits I developed while learning my skills. Can you help me? Oh, this is how you respec. I think this is how you respec. Maybe. Actually, now I'm not so sure. Maybe that's something. Maybe that's like Skyrim, where you can pay trainers to up your skill. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on with that. But we do not have the money to check. Uh, Dunglanis and Rovalt. Rovalt, I think, is a Sturgeon town. Hmm. I guess. I mean, we could always go to Batania right now if that's closer. Get us out of here. All right. So Dunglanis is not too far away. I'm already blanking on what the other one's name was, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, fuck, did it start with a roll vault? There it is. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we're going down to Dunglanis. I want to fight some of the forest bandits, though. Hmm. Maybe we'll see some along the way. Always looking to fight. Uh, let's... Tell you what, let's actually take a closer look. Oh, we have another one of these. We'll put that in bow. We want to get that up to 30 as soon as possible. So, Athanus the Boar. He's level 15 already. Okay. Decent. No riding skill at all. Okay. But, sick with one-handed and pole arms. Got you. Okay, he's fairly one-dimensional. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, apply the changes. What do you have? Jesus, dude. Y you were selling yourself just like this? With barely any armor and just a rusty sword? God, have some self-respect, man. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, we'll have to get him like a cheap horse that even he can ride. Because I don't know how... You need at least 10 riding to get like a halfway decent horse. Um... And he does not even have that. I didn't even know that was a bridge. He's costing us 32 a day. That's a little steep, but we'll pay it. What is this? Go to the keep. 
What is that orange exclamation? Oh, is that the is that the storyline? Is that the Naretsi's folly? No, I'm not gonna pay to join it. All right, tournament, let's go. This is a Batanian tournament where I don't think they like shields. It's pretty much all bows and I think like two-handed axes. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. What? Okay, six lords are joining this. They're offering a judgment for the victor? What the fuck is a judgment? Is that like a... Like a, like a court thing? Like a get out of jail free card? Uh, Alright, I'll be interested to see what that is. A judgment. Or is that like the name of a weapon? It was like... It was lowercase though, so I don't think... Huh. I don't, I don't know. Guess we'll see. It is in fact a weapon. Okay, a one-handed mace. Solid metal, so it's not going to be something we, we're going to use, but... Okay. So we got a four-man free-for-all here, where once again, we just have to come top two. Uh, four teams of two, once again, just have to come top two, and then two 1v1s to finish it off. All right. We're getting, one, once again, not four to one, it's three to one odds to win this, but that's fine. Mm. All right. If by some miracle we can... We want to aim for red. We want to snipe this hero out before this even gets started. As it is, that guy's probably going to make it through. These two are probably going to make it through. And hopefully a Phanus does, but... No, no, no. I want to go for red. Oh my sweet goodness. <laughs> he just fucking wrecked that man. Alright, let's bring these two together. Start fighting each other. There we go. Good. Yes! Aha! It worked! Ooh. Yo, this kind of feeling a little nice with this uh, two-handed sword there. Beautiful. That's what we wanted, though. Varman did not make it to the next round. Largely due to that scout popping off. That was not nothing that we did. Oh, God damn it. Alright, so we're going to have to do a 1v1 with Ergion. Um... If we make it to the next round, but that's fine. Alright, we'll still make this bet. Okay. Do I get any weapons? No. I'm not... Ugh. Who the fuck thrust with a two-handed weapon? I don't know what the fuck that is. Right, here we go. Boom! Get out of here. Get out of here. I actually might like these more than the uh, shielded tournaments, to be honest. The enemies don't uh, block as well, I think. Alright, so this this is basically dead even one-to-one -one odds. We'll take that. If we make it through here, we should be good for the finals. Knock, knock on wood. Come on. <laughs> Fucking sent that man. Oh shit, I wasn't even thinking. There is another hero. Alright, we're not gonna bet on this one because it's. Yeah, dog shit odds. Oh, I preferred the swords, to be honest. There's. You don't have to catch him just with a blade. Oh. Oh, no. Got him. Okay. Oh, that was close. That was close. Holy shit. It, like, did not block the way I wanted it to. Okay. We're good. Judgment. Some more money. All right. Things are coming together here. The, the name Svenoff is starting to sprinkle out into the universe. We're making some good money. We're going to try to equip our, uh, our boy Aphanus here. Did he get knocked out in the first round? He must have. I didn't see him after that. Um, judgment? I don't think there's any... We're just going to sell that. It's not really worth keeping for any reason. What is this? Broad Zikurian. It's got some length on it. But the handling and the speed's a little worse. But more damage. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Interesting. 
That's a bit much to splurge for. I think we'll pass on that for the time being. Actually, technically we could afford it, but we wouldn't be left with much else. I think we're going to pass on that one for right now. Uh, a Phanus? There's literally not a horse here that you can ride. Dude, what are you doing? What are you doing, my man? All right. Um, let's at least get him a shield. Get him a... Uh... I don't know if we're trying to spend that much money on him. Ah, fuck it. We'll get him something nice, and then... Did it say that he had bow skill? I don't think it did. What do you have? What, what can you do? Um, said he was good with pole arms. I don't think he was good with throwing weapons. Ugh. I don't really know what to do with you, to be honest. We'll give you some simple javelins. Those are fun. Oops, no, not those. Yeah, we'll do that. Cool. Good stuff. Alright. We will keep looking for tournaments just because they're a great way to make money, but I want to get into some actual fights as well here. So, give me a sec. I will try to find that. Okay, here we go. So, I, I realize that we're, we're running a little late on this episode, but that's fine because it's the first one. Most of these I'm going to try to stick around the 30 to 40 minute mark, but this one is going a little longer. I, uh, I've been running around, doing a couple fights here and there, leveling up, but I, I didn't find anything satisfactory. Until now. This, I think, would be a good way to cap off the first episode. Fighting a hideout. This is going to be a bit much. I think this is going to be tough. Honestly, I'd like to do it solo if I could. That'd be kind of cool, but uh, I guess we'll have our boy join us. Um... Before we go in, we'll go ahead and pass these out where we want them. Uh, oh, we're just going to attribute point. I think we're going to say endurance because all those are good. For bow, we're, oh, we're at 30, so we can use the new bow. I'll have to make sure to do that. Uh, what about the perk here? Decrease bow accuracy loss due to movement by 30%. Okay. Okay, and then just all troops in our party gain plus 5% damage with bows. That's nice. Dead aim, increase headshot bonus damage by 30%. Ugh. Bow control, for sure. That's way better. Um, and then we have one free skill point. Or focus point. Hmm. What do we want to throw this into? What does this give us? Simulation advantage, all right, not much. I almost wouldn't mind medicine, just so we heal faster. And I wanna get us up to this, 25. Yeah, increase our HP by five, and then 30% of all of our lost HP after a battle gets regained. That would be really nice, that'd be big. Yeah, tell you what, we're gonna throw one more point into medicine. The rest of these are kind of whatever, in my opinion. Okay. Good stuff. Oh, boy. All right. Good luck, us. Oh, wait. Before we go, let me don't forget. Nordic shortbow. That's so much better. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Wait until nightfall to attack. <laughs> this is going to this is gonna show whether or not we're the predator that we think we are. The, like, action movie Predator, not Chris Hansen, you know. All right. <laughs> okay. I could go in by myself if I wanted to. Do I want to do that? I almost feel like a Thanos might fuck it up. I want to take these guys down one by one. I think we're going to go in by ourselves. Yep. Yep. A Thanos, you just hang back, buddy. No offense, but I don't have a lot of confidence in you. It's not like you're all that well armed. Um, and my sneaking suspicion is that you are not going to be that stealthy. And that's what we need for this. Oh, good lord. There's 12 of them. Okay. Mistakes might have been made. Okay. I see three in this initial outpost. Another one down there. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't alert all of them. Oh, shit. They saw me. 98 damage! Oh, that was in the neck. Okay, but still. 
Whoa, this bow is so much better. Look at look at the reticle on it. I say as I whiff. Oh! <laughs> Hold up, I don't like this. I don't like this guy at all. Wait, don't throw. Come on. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Okay. Alright, we've got 22 shots left. We have to be slightly... We have to slightly conser er, conserve our shots. Not that much. I mean, it's enough for two to three shots for each remaining guy. Okay, I want to shoot this guy before he takes his shield out. Alright, well, we got an initial shot in on him. That was a bit of a waste. What about one of these? Ooh! Don't Come like that. On. Come on. <laughs> yep. Get out of here. Alright, good. Four down. I don't think there's anybody else at this small encampment. We're good, alright. Keep it moving. One more guy over here. Dude, especially with this new bow, I feel... I feel dangerous. Alright, alright. Ninety-seven. Boom. Okay, we're moving. Look at that. Athletics is already up to fifty. Oh my goodness. We are cruising through the skill levels. Is there no one here? Okay, one more guy over there. One or two over there. One here there. Okay. I guess there's no one here. This is... I, I don't... I'm enjoying this... Oh, fuck. What? Oh, we hit that? I shouldn't act surprised. What? Come on. I don't know why that voice sounded like it was coming from behind me. Nice. Okay. Let me finish him off with this. A little closer. A little closer, buddy. Yep. You're doing it. Oh, okay. And you hit the tree. Bro, you didn't even... Ha he just held his arm up like he was going to throw something. He hadn't even <laughs> gotten a new spear out of his sheath. Alright, what do we got here? Is it just the one? He's like patrolling. Interesting. There's actually three at that encampment over there. Alright, that one's going to be a little tougher. What we can do is we can go up from, from above. And then... Is that the last guy over there? Is it... F oh. Whoops. Is that five left? No, six left. There's one more besides that guy over there. But yeah, if we swoop along and come from the high ground, they won't be able to go up that... Oh, there's four of them there. Fuck. Okay, yeah, definitely want to take the high ground for that one, then. Bro, look at this. <laughs> this man is like... He's serious about patrolling. Look at him pumping his arms. Oh, he saw me. He's fucking juking me is what he's doing. Uh, or I'm just fucking whiffing shots is what's happening. I actually can't afford to spend any more arrows. I need them for this fight over here. Yeah. This one might be tough. I'm a little worried about this encounter. If we were more accurate with the javelins, I'd start it off with that. But I think instead... There's too much drop on it. All right. How is he not dead? Okay. Good shot. Another good shot. Okay. These guys are low. Okay. What? Oh, you're not dead. Ooh, Lord. Oh, man. Okay. We're still in it. <laughs> we're, 
We are still in it somehow. God damn. Turn back around, baby. That is a one. That's a two. That's a three. Okay. Boom! We did it! Nice. Fuck it. <gasps> no. Oh my god, I forgot. Oh, there's a boss battle at the end of these. No, 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 no. Shit. You. You've cut quite a swath through my men there. How about we settle this one-on-one? -on -one? That's actually quite honorable of you. Um, you outnumber me five to one here. You could just demolish me, but you're gonna... Okay. Okay. I'm down for that. Ooh. Ooh, that was a good block. Oh, what? His swing was so slow, I had moved on to my attack. But it doesn't matter. How do I teabag? Is that, is that an option? No, no teabag? Alright, boom. Yeah, how you like that? How you like them apples, huh? Just, just don't fight me 4v1. I definitely cannot take you right now. Look at that. 13 kills, 6.6 .6 renown is not bad. 100% of the loot, damn right 100%. And what do we get here? Oh, yeah. 2 throwing, 10 one-handed, 14 more athletics, 8 more archery. Oh, that is fantastic. And look at these guys. We might be able to recruit some of them. Low key. We might be able to. Alright. I don't know if any of these are good. But I'll tell you what, it's not really for us. How are they compared to Oh yeah, this is way better than what you're wearing. Dude, what? You were wearing boots with zero armor? Come on, man. You know what? We will uh we will make you decent yet. What about this? Is this better than what you got? No, no, that's awful. Alright, look at all that charm! Eight charm! Relation increased by two with nearby notables. I don't know, what is up with this? It does this black screen every now and again. How do I... I have to, like, do that to get out of it. And that's weird. Okay, I think we are going to go ahead and wrap it up there. That's a good, good first episode, in my opinion. Look at our stats after just one episode. Okay. Uh, we got to do this real quick. Plus 2% swing speed. That seems good. Uh, increase your damage with axes and maces by 5%. I'll be honest, I think the swing speed trumps that. Swing speed is everything. Uh, athletics, what do we got here? Decrease your armor weight by 15%. Uh, yeah, not a problem for us. We don't, we don't have any armor weight. Uh, while on foot, your weapon handling is increased by 10%. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. And two more focus points. What did I say I was going to throw those in? I don't even remember, to be honest. Alright, I think we're going to just rock with one more in bow. Still got some room left on that. Still got room left on that. Let's get one more in throwing. Honestly, I have my eyes on... There's this perk at the end of the throwing tree. Impale. Javelins you throw. Penetrate shields like ballista bolts. <laughs> that that sounds so fucking sick. Can you imagine? Like, it doesn't matter if you have your shield up or not. We're just going straight through you and sending you flying. I want that. That's going to take a while to get that far, but I want it so bad. I wonder what, what about this? Each point above 200 gives you 0.2% projectile speed and 0.5% damage increase. That combined with piercing through shields? I... I I can't even imagine. I can't even fucking imagine. I wonder if you can replenish your throwing weapons in, sh in sieges just like you can like arrows. If you can, dude, unlimited ballista bolt like javelin throws, sign me the fuck up. But anyways, that's it for today. Or well, no, not it for today. As soon as you guys hit 150 likes, I will go ahead and upload the second episode. But that is it for this episode. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I am so happy to be back. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want to see in this series, if there's anything I'm forgetting, any of the new features that I don't know about yet. I love hearing from you guys, but until next time, as always, take it easy.